I'm going to show you how to use both your iPad and your computer to use Zoom so that you can use your iPad like a document camera or a whiteboard for your students. So when you have your Zoom meeting up, then you can go to Zoom on your iPad and you can join your meeting. To find your meeting information, if you are unsure, if you click on invite, Up here is your meeting number, so you type that in. And join the meeting. So now there will be two of you in the meeting. And on your iPad it'll say call using internet audio, you can just say cancel. You don't need the audio running on your iPad, so that'll help um, reduce having a feedback loop. You can also stop video on this one so you can kind of um, manage what the camera's doing if you're not needing it. So to share it as a whiteboard, there's actually that feature within Zoom when you're on the iPad. So you're going to go to share content, the green arrow up here. Oh look, and it says only the host can share in this meeting. So if you have that problem on your host computer, you're going to open screen sharing. advanced sharing options and say all participants can share. So now from the iPad, I'm going to click the green share control. The very bottom option is whiteboard. So now I could draw a message, write words, use that to, to write. You can also share your screen. So using this, it says screen broadcast, you're going to hit start broadcast. So now whatever is on my iPad screen is on the Zoom um, display for everyone. So now if you wanted to go to an app to do with a student, this will work with communication apps, really it'll work with anything. Um, then we also have iPevo which is in self-service if you don't already have it downloaded. And iPevo is an interactive whiteboard app. So you could take pictures of a worksheet ahead of time and have it loaded to work on in the Zoom or to show students. And then you can write or type within this app on top of a worksheet. And if it's easier to write, you click on the ABC or the AA to get a text box wherever you want to put text. You can also use the document camera or just the camera feature here if you wanted to show either yourself doing something or a document. Then a couple easy household hacks. This is a shelf organizer. So my dishes are less organized, but and then I uh, have Duplos to make mine a little bit taller so that I'm not having a shaky camera when I'm trying to show a worksheet or if I'm going to do a demonstration of something with my hands. So then you can balance your iPad. your worksheet underneath. I should have angled it the other way. Da, 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 like this. So now we can see the worksheet on my iPad and on the Zoom feed for the students. Um, another option for a DIY doc cam is a plastic bin. The worksheet will look a little bit bluish maybe, but works. Too. You might want to mess with making it taller. But now again, the worksheet's visible in the Zoom, and then I can still talk to the student, have my video, and see their face. Um, so I hope these, these technology tools will help you guys um, as we continue this adventure. Please reach out if you need any other support or ideas, um, and I'm also going to send a way to make your own easel.